What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video. So a couple of days ago I decided to put up onto Instagram um, a Q&A basically that I was going to film for YouTube. So I got you to answer or asked me a lot of questions and a lot of you actually responded which I was surprised about because I thought I was only going to get like 10 questions but yeah um, I've kind of narrowed it down to 10 or 15 questions but uh, yeah mainly because a lot of you were asking the same questions like when did I start BMX and all kind of normal kind of things so yeah um, I'm gonna get into the first one which is when and how did TNT start so yeah um, I started this YouTube channel in April 2011 um, I started filming skateboarding videos I think around summer 2012 um, first of all when I started the YouTube channel I didn't expect it to go this way I didn't expect to be doing skateboarding or BMX or anything like that because when I started I wasn't doing any of that. I wanted to do kind of parody videos and funny videos like that. Um, the main reason I started it was mainly because um, an iPhone, I got an iPhone 4S for Christmas and it had YouTube built into it and it was so easy to upload stuff onto YouTube back then. So um, yeah, that's how I kind of started. I just like made a YouTube channel and put it up and it wasn't, it wasn't TNT Media back then either, it was me and my friend's initials, so it was like KKEA, so Jason, and Kevin, Evan and Aaron. And then I think it went from that to TNT Stunt Team to TNT Media, and the reason why I changed it to TNT was mainly because someone grew like a skull down at the skate park one day with TNT in his mouth, and I thought it was really cool, so I said, alright, I'm going to call it TNT no matter what, and the reason why I changed it from Stunt Team to Media is because media could be anything whereas like stunt team it's kind of narrowed down to kind of one thing so yeah um i kind of hope that answers your question um next question what is my favorite color um it's blue it's actually this blue so the next one is an obvious one when did i start bmx and it's kind of scary talking about this one now to be honest because i started nearly 10 years ago i started in 2011 or else 2012 so I'm not really sure, I was actually, I was talking to Ross about it last night because I wasn't really sure and we both started doing our thing at the same time and yeah, um, I'm actually surprised that I'm doing it so long because there was a lot of times I like did threaten to quit and again making a big deal of quitting as well a lot like cause ever since I turned like, ever since I started I've been talking about quitting which is ridiculous but it's actually messed up that I've been doing it for so long but um yeah, I still enjoy it, which is the main thing. I only do it because I enjoy it. Like, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. I, I wouldn't be doing it if my friends weren't skating or anything still, like, so... Yeah, that's one of the main reasons I do it, but it's messed up that I'm, like, doing it nearly 10 years. Another question, which is a bit of an interesting one, is what drew me to BMX over skateboarding? Um, I think I started skating when I was around 7 or 8, which nobody actually knows. Um, but I didn't, I couldn't do any tricks or anything like that. I got a skateboard for Christmas and I had like titanium plates on the end of it. And I just used to just do sparks around the stage and mess around with it. So yeah, I enjoyed it, but um, I fell out of love with, with it fairly quickly. Uh, when I got into secondary school, I one of my friends got me into BMX. He started sending me a lot of BMX videos. And funnily enough, he actually doesn't ride anymore. But um, yeah, um, he got me really interested in it. and. I just started doing it and also I, f I felt like BMX and riding bikes I was way more comfortable with and I had more control so I felt like you know I'd be able to do the tricks better. I did try to give skateboarding a go I think two years ago but as you can probably tell there it didn't end well Um, it ended horribly like um, yeah after that I just said I'm never doing skateboarding again because I put out my back dropping in and off a quarter pipe um, for two weeks I think and it was just it was horrible so I was like I'll stick to the bike. Uh, what was the first video I uploaded onto YouTube? Um, the first video I uploaded to YouTube, I actually deleted. It was basically an app I got on my phone where you could um, do like all special effects, like a moon dropping on someone or missiles coming out of the ground or whatever. Um, it was cool. It was fun. It was actually a pretty cool thing to have at the time. Like that was back in 2011. So yeah, that's actually what got me into uploading videos on YouTube as well. But the first skateboarding video I put up, which I'll put up here, is just up Ross like doing an ollie over a couple of skateboards down at Balancolic. So back then I used to upload a lot of 10 second clips because I didn't know how to edit and I didn't, ha didn't have any editing software at the time. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my first skateboarding clip is of Ross doing an ollie. So yeah. Another interesting question I got asked is, 
what would I like to see in a new skate park in Cork if there's ever an indoor and outdoor one made? Um, that's kind of a tricky one for me because I really like Cargline, I like the layout of it, but um, I'm trying to think of like what other people would like. So if if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see in a skate park in Cork, comment below and I'll do something with it. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think personally, I think everyone would love to have it like a proper bowl in Cork, um, but. I don't see us getting a new skate park for a while. Like it took us five years to get Cargoline, and we have we already have like what is it five, four or five skate parks already in Cork. So I don't think they're going to be pushed to do another one. I don't know what I would add. I think a bowl, maybe a box jump. Um, that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything because Cargoline pretty much has everything I like, which is ledges and rails. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, comment below what you'd add to a new skate park in Cork, whether it's indoors or outdoors. I know a lot of you are going to say a resi in a foam pit, but that's just one thing I wouldn't be into, to be honest. What's my best trick? Um, my best trick is probably a feeble grind. It's my favourite trick anyway, like as in, it's the one I can just do anywhere and feel comfortable doing it. And I just enjoy it, it's just fun to do. So yeah, I think a feeble grind, it took me a while to learn, I think. It took me like eight months or nearly a year to learn, but um, it was one trick I really worked hard on. and. It's one of my best tricks, I think, because it's one of the ones I can get clean a lot of the time. So, yeah, um, probably a feeble grind. What filming equipment do I use? I use a lot of filming equipment. I use too much filming equipment. Although I don't use a camera, I use my phone, which is an iPhone 6S. Um, I am planning on upgrading though. Hopefully I'll be upgrading to a DSLR or else a mirrorless camera soon, but I want to get something that'll do me for another five years. So, um, I don't know what to get at the moment because everything's kind of changing with the cameras at the moment. It's going from DSLR to mirrorless. And then phones are getting really good as well. So yeah, um, I do want to get a camera regardless. Like I, I am getting a new phone as well, but I want to get a camera regardless just because you need to work with a camera. Like if you want to get into film or anything like that, you have to know how to work the camera and stuff. So yeah, um, I want to get a new camera regardless. But uh, yeah, what I have at the moment is all my videos, aside from the last vlog, which was filmed on a DSLR that I got a loan of, um, all my videos have been filmed on my iPhone. Um, my BMX edit, the skate edit, all of that have been filmed on my phone. Um, and my other filming equipment, I have a gimbal, which is a DJI Osmo Mobile 2, um, a GoPro Hero, Hero Session with a chest mount, um, a tripod. Um, I think that's it at the moment, but like I think the best investments I've had is the GoPro and the gimbal because I've actually made my money back on them and they've actually improved my filming a lot as well. Another downside to filming on the phone, I um, I had to write down like all the questions down here because they're all on my phone and I can't look at my phone while I'm recording, which is a shame. So yeah, um, I'm trying to figure out what the next one is. I'm getting a lot of tricky questions actually. I'm actually surprised. I thought I was gonna get like a lot of generic ones like how long did I start BMX and stuff, but some of them are fairly tricky and some of them maybe I shouldn't put into this video because I don't know how to answer them. But um, yeah, will I ever bring out merch? Um, the answer at the moment is, may, I, I don't know, I actually don't know the answer at the moment. At the, at the moment, I'm not thinking of it because I don't have like the artistic mind to like come up with a good design for a t-shirt or any sort of clothing. Um, so I don't want to bring out something that's going to be and I don't want to bring out something that's going to be bad quality. Like I know some of you have seen me like wear like polo shirts or not polo shirts, long sleeves and t-shirts and stuff like that in, um, in my videos with my logo on it. But a lot of them uh, stuff a lot of that stuff I got was fairly bad quality and I don't want to be like buying stuff that's bad quality that I'm gonna get complaints over and stuff I want to get stuff that's a decent quality and people are gonna enjoy the design and stuff so yeah um, I want to put a lot of work and thought into it if I am gonna do it so yeah it's kind of a hard question to answer um, my answer is no at the moment but maybe in the future if this keeps on going but um yeah, if I was bringing out Mark, it'll probably be closed, but I don't know. What's my favorite skate park in Ireland? Well, that is kind of an easy one, but at the same time, I haven't been to many skate parks in Ireland. Um, I'd say my favorite one at the moment is Cargline, although Clon Griffin comes a close second because it's I just love that park, except for the day I got to go there, um, I was just so tired and 
we were up late the night before with like all of O'Sheen's problems because um, that was the day we went to Dublin and O'Sheen injured himself and fell off his bike and we had to bring him to the hospital so yeah um, yeah I was very tired that day but I think Clown Griffin comes a close second I love Cargillian like I've always managed to break something on my bike there but at the same time I've always had a good section there I've always like had a good flow with the or good I've been really comfortable at the park I, like I've learned a lot of stuff there I've got really but I think I actually improved on my grind grinds and stuff from just going to that park alone and I also love filming there just because it's such a nice park um but uh yeah Cargillion's probably my favorite park in Ireland at the moment but at the same time I haven't been to many parks in Ireland so I can't really um it's my favorite park in Cork Right, so this leads into the next question, which is, do I have any trips planned? Um, the answer is maybe, just because of COVID and lockdown and all of that at the moment, it's all over the place. I do intend on going away next year. Hopefully, um, I'll be going to away around Europe. I don't know where yet. Um, it's looking likely to be Barcelona, but um, I don't know. I actually don't know. That all depends on lockdown and COVID and all of that, because... I'm also working at the moment, so it's gonna be hard to get time off as well with all of this crap going on. How old am I? Um, I am turning 22 this month, later this month. I am currently 21. Have I stopped vlogging? No, I haven't stopped vlogging. I took a break. I needed to take a break. It's been, I don't know how long it's been. It's been, uh, it's only been two months since I've done my last vlog. And to be honest, I'm not gonna do another one this year just because I've finished on 70 and I like ending it on an even number. So, yeah, and also as well, I don't think I could top the last one with the way the weather is at the moment and all of, all of that. So, um, yeah, I I haven't stopped. I just needed to take a break because I've been I I was doing it from like the start of the lock the, the start of the first lockdown to the start of this one. I was doing a vlog nearly every week. I was doing a video every week anyway, and it was ridiculous. Like I enjoyed it, and I was surprised I was doing it, but. Um, it was becoming hard work and I knew I couldn't keep it going during the winter months so yeah um, I haven't stopped I just stopped for this year what future videos do I have planned um, I have a few planned but I don't want to mention them yet because I know if I mention them they mightn't get done I, I actually end up jinxing myself a lot on this YouTube channel like I've mentioned Gary's edit a lot and we still haven't done it and I kind of feel bad for you Gary but um, yeah it's kind of both our faults but uh, yeah, um, I actually, you know, I can I can mention one because I am in the middle of working on it, which is a short film I'm making. Um, I actually was I started filming it there last week, and it went it went all right. Like it was a bit stressful because it was a big challenge this year compared to my film last year. I just did a completely different story, a completely different team, and yeah, um, it went. I, I'm actually happy with how it's going so far, but. Um, I have to do a few pickup shots now and a few things, just the minor detail things. But I'm gonna take my time on it and put it up sometime next year instead of rushing it and putting it up this year because I want it to look good and I want you to all enjoy it because um, yeah, I care about that thing a lot. What music do I listen to? Um, a lot of people know what music I listen to. Um, I listen to Kanye West religiously. He's like, um, I just love his. I love his old music more than his new music. I mainly listen to rap and alternative stuff and a bit of everything really so I'm actually surprised with some of the questions. The next one is um, do I have any other hobbies other than BMX? Um, the answer is sort of like if you can call filming a hobby. Um, filming is probably my favorite thing to do and then BMX is probably like second or third. Um, the other thing I have a massive interest in is like cars and motorsport and I'm really into Formula 1 so yeah, um, I don't really do anything in motorsport yet because I, I'd love to get into small motorsport, but um, I just don't have the money and I don't have a license, which is a bit of a pain. But um, yeah, um, I'm really into cars and stuff. Are you in college? Um, yes, I'm actually literally in college right now. I'm using the film studio because I've always wanted to use this for a YouTube video and I've always wanted to practice my lighting, which is absolutely amazing today, I think. I'm actually happy with my, I think this is the best lighting I've ever done for a video, so yeah. Um, I'm in college right now doing film production, and yeah, it's going well. Um, it's a bit of a pain, it's a bit of a pain with COVID and lockdown and stuff, because um, it's just some of the stuff is online and you'd love to be in person, and I'm not really seeing most of my friends and all of that kind of stuff, so 
Yeah, um, other than that, it's going well. I'm enjoying the course. And the final question. It is going to be the final question because I am absolutely tired of talking. I've been talking for too long. Um, I don't know how long this video is, but um, I feel like I've been talking for an absolute century. Um, what What is the long-term plan for TNT and for me? Um, that's an interesting one. The long-term plan for TNT, there isn't any. Um, there isn't any because it's only an excuse for me to make videos. Um, there was a plan before, but I'm not planning on becoming a YouTube sensation or anything like that. Like I'm not planning on like, oh, I get 10,000 subscribers, I get a million or something like that. Um, I'm not planning on anything like that because you can't, you can't plan on things like that. Um, I'm only doing it because I enjoy it and I'm only doing it as like a pastime for me and my friends to do and it's also a good, it's also, I like, I'm kind of a nostalgic person as well so I like look, looking back on videos and stuff especially ever since I did the vlogs. Like I like looking back on my progression of filming and editing and also the way me and my friends have changed over the years. So yeah, I also do it for that reason but there isn't a long term plan with TNT at all. Like I don't have any and I think I'd be very silly to have one to be honest. A long term plan for me, that's a good one and that's one I've been thinking about a lot this year. Um, I'm in the middle of doing it at the moment and one of those things is starting my own video and video and photography company. That's gonna be a long long road. Like I'm, I'll start, I'm only starting it now and I haven't done much with it and I need to start doing more work with it and I need to like kind of like have my mind focused on it because um, I know there's a lot of work that goes into these things and they don't happen overnight so yeah um, I have started an Instagram called Veda Productions which is I came up with the name mainly because video and edits and I just combined it so yeah and yeah um, I'm kind of happy with how it's going at the moment but I should be doing more with it um, it's mainly I'm mainly just putting up like all the other stuff other than like skateboarding and all of that kind of section of things on, onto it because like as you know I do other things other like I film other things other than skateboarding so yeah that's what I want to do I want to like start my own video and photography company I kind of have started it now but it's not really a company like it's not the gate or anything um I've just started an Instagram for it to get like people knowing it's there like like I did with TNT all those years ago so yeah that's what I'm trying to do at the moment um if you haven't heard of it make sure to follow it right here because I would really appreciate that if you want the videos made in the future or photos or anything in general there is other stuff I need to th think about more as in way more down the line but as of now that's all I've got um I don't know that I really answered that question well well enough but um hopefully I did and hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I answered all your questions properly because sometimes I ramble on and then I just forget about the questions so yeah um, other than that I just want to say thank you so much for all your questions I'm actually surprised actually you actually sent me questions and thank you for the support the support this year has been amazing I'm actually really surprised like a lot of things changed this year like a lot of people I've noticed like a lot more different people have started watching my YouTube videos and I just want to say thank you very much for subbing, um, liking and maybe sharing. I don't know if you shared yet, but um, you should do that as well because it really helped me out. Um, yeah, um, I just want to say thank you for the continued support. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'm actually, like I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have the support. The support like. So yeah, um, thank you for all your questions. I hope I did answer them properly. If I did, please make sure to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe for more. And yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.